idea of the Falcon Monitoring Challenge is to uh, monitor the behavior of the animals while they're in a cage so that we can understand which ones are active, which ones are eating, which ones are staying still, if they have some sickness or something. And we're looking at uh, using from simple cameras and just algorithms to track and find positions to having uh, deaf cameras or even lidars to get a full precision scan of everything in the environment. So we have a ground robot that is moving a falcon through the ground and we have a flying robot that is going to position the robot in any place in, and move it around. And the final stage would be with real falcons uh, moving inside. So right now what they're using is uh, heavy, so we could, there are some trackers but they're 200 grams, which are very heavy for a real-life falcon. And even for the owners, uh, it's also good to have as much information because you can prevent or analyze when they're getting sick, which ones are more active, how are they eating, where are they moving from, and you could even understand why they behave certain ways. So this type of competition and, and spaces gives us this chance to find real life applications to solve problems. Uh, I think the main part for us to take part in this competition was the challenge that was there because uh, as we know falcons move very quick and uh, when you have it in a frame of uh, picture you need to take multiple samples for you to understand where it's positioning. So it was the challenge mainly that gets us interested to participate in it. Uh, we are using uh, image processing, uh, it's an AI model, we trained our own AI through the database we received from here and uh, we are detecting the falcons in different positions and we are creating a trajectory of from where it take off and from where it lands back. Right now we are able to detect two birds moving together but of course when you have real falcons you, are, you cannot expect their behavior so we are training newer models every day to get to that final result in the final stage. Uh, I think the main excited point and the main uh, learning thing that you get from a challenge is the difficulties you face. So, for example, we can read in books and uh, all of uh, the study material we have in university, but that's in a lab uh, environment. But when you come to your real life and you implement it, you find lots of problems that you never guess that it will come. Working with the real Falcon will be the reward for us actually here because uh, we're working towards that. So to have the real falcon is the most exciting part about the competition.